fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white, trimmed with red letters, and weighing 214 pounds, he brings an outstanding professional record of 26 victories without a loss. And he has proven his punching power by knocking out 25 of those 26 opponents. Ladies and gentlemen, from Norwich, Norfolk, England, presenting the undefeated WBO Heavyweight Champion of the World, the Dancing Destroyer, Herbie Hall. Wearing white with red trim, weighing 241 pounds, this 1988 Olympic silver medalist brings into the ring a professional record of 35 victories against only one loss with one no contest and 29 of his 35 victories are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Brooklyn, New York, the challenger and former undisputed Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. Caution again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. By HBO. So for our purposes, this is the punch almost without throwing a fight. Where he finally delivers a left. Would like to see him do. The ring against Larry Donald in December. He said that he did to no one's surprise. Nothing in reply. Hasn't retaliated with much of anything. A hard right hand by Hyde. Back in that first round. Solid punches. But it's awfully early here. Round which that Hyde did not throw, which means that Hyde has. And now to the body. Riddick book. Hyde still coming forward with resolution. Which means that maybe the pressure with the crowd would never got to him. But his hard movement is really bothering Bo because Bo fainted. Following it up with anything after the faint. Hard right hand underneath by Hot. He keeps it. You're right, Gillies. Hard left hand by Bo. Hyde temporarily stunned by that one. Now Herbie backs up and Riddick tries to follow it in. Staggering him with that left jab. Bo had better be careful now. Riddick Bo coming alive and behind the right hand. He gets hit with a Hyde right and that turns it right around. have been hit with a very, very short punch. He's out on his feet. Sight. He's out on his feet and in danger of getting hurt if Bo can put something together. Down goes Hyde again. There still hasn't been an official knockdown ruling. Now this one gets a count. I had mentioned that Hyde looked tired. He looks exhausted now, and it's, not, it's only the third round of the fight. And now Hyde handles Bo for the moment again, lacing him with lefts and rights. And as Bo opens up to try to finish, Hyde takes advantage and falls down again. Got hit with an uppercut. Right uppercut, right on the butt. Five, six, seven. Well, that's three knockdowns. Except that the first one Come wasn't on, ruled up. a knockdown. It was not ruled a knockdown. Richard Steele wanted to go. Hyde still fighting back, not grabbing and holding or covering up. Can he make it out of the round? would be over if Steele had ruled properly on the first knockdown. This is your championship. Come on. Don't throw this away, son. Come on, boys. You've got to move. Don't stand. Don't stand in front of Don't play this man's game, mate. Come on. Steele has gone out the window in this fight. This looks like a Golden Glove final. I'm fighting for a championship. Where are you? Where are you? Vegas fucking fucking with the bug. Get lost. Come on, son. You can beat this, man. Here we're seeing what's happening here, and you saw that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can get another glance at that. Pretty amazing. By punch stat numbers, Bo landed only nine punches in the round. Hyde was on the canvas three times. Now Hyde tries to put Bo down, and Bo goes down while missing a punch. And Steele calls that a slip, even though Bo was clearly stunned by Hyde's punches. Bo is just looking. 
looking for one big shot now to end this fight. He made that mistake against Hope, or how many hundreds of rounds you've sparred. Well, that's what I... ...oddities that have marked Bo's career. Here is yet another one. Right. Not going to have the stamina to go 12. Another hard right hand over the top by Hyde. He's game enough, that's for sure, but now Bo lands two hard right hand shots. Hyde's out on his feet, and there he goes. Four. Third official knockdown. Richard Steele calls it no knockdown. I trying to fight Bo off with the jab. But the bigger man now is really imposing himself on Herbie Hyde. Riddick stalking and exhausted Herbie Hyde, and Hyde goes down from punches and from total fatigue. I didn't see a punch there either. The body punch, Larry, wasn't much of a punch. Hey, give me a glove going to get him out of the fourth round. Herbie Hyde showed us some real stomach, as they say in Britain, some real courage Come on. to you get through that round after the previous you're round. Fucking late. Come on. <coughs> don't, hey. When you're in the clinch, don't put your head down. Bring your head forward. Don't bring your head back. It's the old red right is kissing you with. Listen, 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 well, we listen, listen, listen to us, we have. Uh, we had mentioned before the fight Listen. that Herbie Hyde when pulls his head back, and that's what they're telling him in the corner. Right, bring it inside. Don't pull it back. Let's see what happened here on this knockdown. That was just a big clubbing right hand against a fatigued Hyde, a left jab, another one high in the head. That looked more from fatigue than, and, than anything else. Well, the best punch punches were the two jabs, and they weren't really the kind of punches to put you, you put him on the canvas, but he's, he's a tired young man right now. The only shot that Hyde has great hard right hands is to land a big solid punch because I, again he's not going to be able to go 12 rounds and outpoint Riddick Bow. Get up! Get right, stop back to me! Stop. Another left hook. Three, four, and you wonder how many times five, Hyde is going to want to keep going six, for this. Seven, I still think this is more of a point than clean Hyde punching, punching Gil. Yes, it was. The, the punches weren't really solid punches. They were almost but, slaps. But, uh, but Herbie Hyde is, again, a very tired young man. Yeah, and because he's so fatigued, he's in danger here. And he Steele should be Bo. thinking about that. He just hit Bo with a right, right the uppercut. uppercut. Oh, yep, oh, sure did, oh, oh. since the knockdown in this round. Oh, oh. Right and left could have done some damage. Now there's a solid right hand by Hyde. Oh, and use that Another left Another look jab. at a knockdown, a light jab. The right that landed more on the shoulder, these were more pushes against fatigue than clean punches. Didn't even hit him with that punch. He blocked the punch, but look how long it takes him to get off any kind of a punch at all. You know, two years ago, Bo looked as though he was rapidly becoming a supreme technician. Where did it all go, Gil? Come on, get up. No, no, no. Hide down again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me the Hyde's been using the canvas to really hide and rest. Another slippage. Right hand over the top. Go to corner, go to corner. That ought to be a knockdown. Somebody and the made towel it. comes in from Hyde's ah, corner. Steele hey. ignores the towel. Seven. As Somebody he should. They're not allowed to throw in a towel to stop a fight. And they have that rule in to, to keep them from uh, making scores on gambling. Steele kicks the white towel oh, out of the ring. Oh, a good move by Steele. But it's because of the Keep nature of the opponents he's been fighting. That may be it. Will this be enough? Go to corner. There's a count going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Hyde's not going to make it up. A rusty, rough-hewn effort, but Riddick Bowe gets his KO. Well, we were talking about how Riddick Bowe had to make a great impression in this fight to be recognized as the best heavyweight in the world, and I just really don't think that he showed that much in this fight, despite the numerous knockdowns. A distraught Herbie Hyde. The awkward Mathis 
The, the running Larry Donald, and here Henry Hyde, who you can see leaping in his corner. All difficult kinds of guys to fight, awkward guys. Well, let me tell you, Larry, Her Herbie Hyde is attached to his arms, which means he landed a lot of punches. And while he's hitting you, he's still there. You have to have the reflexes to count it. And Bo did not seem to have those, those quick reflexes tonight. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Riddick Bowe kneeling to pray. I think what Riddick Bowe needs is a real challenge. Somebody who can really compete with him so that he can train in that way. I think he's gone into these last three fights thinking he didn't have an opponent who was truly able to compete with him. Well, I, I felt that Bo was in great shape for this fight. I, I told him how important the fight was, but who knows what goes on in a fighter's mind. And we're taking repeated looks here at uh, the last of Herbie Hyde's many trips to the canvas. And finally for this one, Hyde kept the left knee on the canvas and simply declined to get up, which was wise. There wasn't much more he could do. Fascinating, though, that... Uh, your mind's eye and your memory tend to tell you, Gil, that the Riddick Bowe who fought against Evander Holyfield in November of 1992 and who looked so good would have polished Herbie Hyde off easily in the third round with quick economical combinations. No question about it. Remember even the second Riddick Bowe fight, he almost polished off uh, Holyfield uh, with nice short combinations. Right now, let's go up the ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official particulars of this gentlemen, referee Richard Steele reaches the count of 10 at 2 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 6, the winner, and once again, heavyweight champion of the world, now two-time world champion, Herb.